Khalif Raymond from the 30. Flag is down. And Raymond has run out of bounds. Another flag comes in at the 32. There are six flags on the field. <laughs> so every one of the officials threw their, their flag. And look at Pete Morelli. He's got a smile on his face. I don't think I've ever seen that. You only have you only have seven officials, and there's six flags on on the field. So everybody one, everybody one, had something. One of the, one of the officials really missed something. <laughs> <laughs> that was the quintessential uh, second preseason game punt. Came up. We have time. multiple fouls during the plays by both teams. The receiving team holding number 46. Holding, number 81. <laughs> Block in the back, number 80. <laughs> it's the grocery list here. Personal foul, number two of the, re of the receiving team blocking while out of bounds. Holding, number 18 Come on, Pete. of the kicking team. With all that, it's an offset. Oh. And don't forget the, the eggs and the milk at the grocery store. I <laughs> Could you recap that for us, Brian? Who oh did what? Uh, Pressure coming. <laughs> Ryan gets it. Here comes a flag. As Ryan goes down, and so does Felso. Well, the question is, is this a roughing the, uh, the punter, or is it a running into the punter? Jeff Triplett on the move. And here comes there. There's a sh extra shoving going on at the 43 yard line. Rams were going for the block. Well, I keep seeing Eugene Sims 97 right in the middle of all of it. There are four fouls on the play. That's why it took so long. Running into the kicker, number 34 in the, kick the receiving team. Holding, number 95 of the receiving team. Personal foul, number 34 of the receiving team. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 57 of the kicking team. By rule, all those penalties offset, replay fourth down. <laughs> have, have you ever had four penalties on one play? Two of them. We're on Chase Reynolds of the Rams, and somehow it's uh, three. How do, how do three and one offset one another? And there's Chase Reynolds there at 34 running into. We, we don't have time to show all the other infractions, but as Jeff Triplett explained, and we appreciate him discussing as by rule, they do offset even though three were called against the Rams. 12 corners coming into the game. 2-18 to go, the Giants. Have two timeouts remaining. Beckham got a block, got a couple of them. And this may be a flag. And then a kick by Beckham. Tell you, this game's got a chance to get ugly. It might get ugly right now. It is getting ugly right now. You can see this coming from a long time ago. We've had a kicker kick somebody in the face. We've had a couple of late hits out of bounds. That one a very late hit out of bounds by Alec Ogletree. And Odell Beckham Jr. didn't like it at all. Well, when he was going to get off of the block, Al Alex Ogletree actually pushed him and mushed him in the helmet and in the face mask. And that's when he saw the retaliation out of Odell Beckham Jr. But we've got to get back to football here. As yep. much fight and all this stuff that's going on, yeah, it's going to bring some intensity to this football game. But let's do it inside the lines. Let's do it out on the football field, and let's play a competitive game here. I got to tell you, David Deal, you, you know, you brought it up earlier. Because clearly that, that's just a late hit, a late shove, and then a push, a kick. Good thing Laura Oakman was able, our sideline yeah. reporter was able to get out of the way of that one because she was right there. And get out of the way, Laura. Find safety somewhere down there. And shove, but you get a punch or two that's thrown. Yep. As After an the player went out of bounds, there's out. multiple fouls on the play and some ejections. Ejected from the game will be number 83 for the New York Giants and number 95 for New York and number 95 for St. Louis and 98 for the New York Giants.
There was a foul against an official on this play. We will go 15 yards against uh, St. Louis and then bring the flag back and make it first and 25. And, and 52 personal foul on defense. All right, so we have had Demontre Moore, <laughs> Preston Parker, Hard Preston Parker of uh, the Giants, and then we had uh, William, William Hayes, Hayes uh, backup defensive end for the Rams. Here's Smith from the pocket, and flags everywhere. One in the secondary and one in the area where Smith threw the pass to Bo. Manilik Watson on that Raider bench can't even look up. There's three fouls on the play. Holding, defense, number 24, penalties decline. Holding, defense, number 25, penalties decline. Illegal use of hands, hands to the face, defense. <laughs> Goodness. Number 95, that penalty is accepted. Five yard penalty, automatic first down. The fourth down play, having to make a stop to close out the game, and there are actually three flags on the defense. There's the hold inside. Well, you can see it's clear, the holds. And on the outside, Mayola. Not quite to that point yet here. Second and ten. Heavy heat put on. Flag thrown. And that's Brown who gets taken down. Gonna get a horse collar out of that one. Horse collar there. You got heavy pressure put on as well that time as the Ravens sent the house. Could have a roughing the passer as well here. And a little mm. bit of a busted jaw. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We have seen Ben in some pain. He was talking about the hit that Courtney Upshaw put on him in the first game that still bothers him. <laughs> We've seen Ben with yeah. a broken nose. We've seen him now trying to figure out how to get his jaw working again. There's the horse collar on Webb taking Brown down. Vinovich telling one of the Steelers to There are get three the hell penalties there. on the play on, on the play. All on the defense. Holding. Number 26. Personal foul. Horse collar. Number 21. Personal foul. Rough in the passer. 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic first down. <laughs> I might march that one right in the end zone. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember seeing that. I can't. Of course, we've seen a lot of things. Three straight sacks and now three penalties on one play. Maybe that's going to be the theme. You know, but all right, this is going to sound bad, but I don't think John Harbaugh cares. This is Courtney Upshaw. That's a late hit. There's no question about it. I'm going to guess that they probably say, you know what, guys, our goal is to hit Ben Roethlisberger. And the way he's flexing that jaw right now, that's mission accomplished early in this game. Stunt, it's picked up. Mario has time. Let's it fly. It's intercepted. Cam Chancellor's got it. Late penalty flies in after the interception. Now two penalties come in after the pick. But Chancellor has got it for his first of the year. And we'll see what the flags are. Watch to the right of your screen. The ball's delivered, but right here is where the flag's going to come in. Richard Sherman tangled up with Eric Decker, and then out the interception, there's Sherman trying to block. Another, that's a flag coming in, and then Sherman is protesting, and I saw the hat come off of the official. So you may get something else that goes tacked on top of this. Well, now there's a big conversation. He's got to be careful. Sherman's got his helmet off talking to the officials. See, right here. Now here comes. Okay, now he's protesting. And there he is, and there goes the hat, which means that's another flag, and that's the side judge, Scott Edwards. I think you're going to get a hold first, then you're going to get the penalty against Sherman with the official post possession. There were multiple fouls during the play. 
all by the defense. That's an appearance. Defense, number 25, that penalty is accepted. During the interception return, holding by the number 25 of the defense, that penalty is declined. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct by the defense, number 25, directed towards an official. That penalty also is accepted. That is number 25's first foul for potential disqualification. Tennessee's ball, first down. Mike, how do they enforce all these penalties here? Mike Pereira from L.A. is with us. What's going on? All right, we lost Mike Pereira. Well, both get enforced in this situation, right? Because you get the penalty during the live ball, then you get the post-possession penalty. So you get both of them enforced against Richard Sherman. He's got to be really careful. He's got one unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. If he gets a second one, he's gone for the game. I mean, he's, he's, and he's working on it right now. He's dangerously close. I mean, with the helmet off, yelling at the officials, he easily could get another one if they wanted to. And if I'm Tennessee, I think hard about attacking him in as a pass play right now to see if he can get his focus back. Not all that long ago, they're starting there to get tough. fouls on the play. Unnecessary, after the play was over, unnecessary roughness on number 52. Excuse me a minute. Okay. Mike, <laughs> this is like a, like a want-to-get-away commercial. Yeah. This is like a wing commercial. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Hold on a second. I'll be right back. He's not laughing. Who says these officials take themselves too seriously? At least he smiled. He did. Laughed. He did. There are I like multiple him. fouls on the play. Unnecessary roughness <laughs> on the kicking team number 92. 52. <laughs> Unnecessary roughness on the receiving team number 57. Those fouls offset. There's also... A holding number 92 on the return team. All those fouls offset at the spot of that foul. <laughs> First down, kick, uh, Dallas. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know where the ball is. <laughs>